Discussing balance for fictionalized creatures is always tricky, especially for fictionalized creatures that still need to be added to the game. Most of this ongoing discussion is aimed at the more questionable additions to the game, and today I'm going to be sharing my thoughts and conclusions on the viability of Minmi. For starters, it is worth talking about the real-life animal. Minmi paravertebra was one of the smallest species of ankylosaurid. Being less than a meter tall and only three meters long, it really wasn't that big. It was described as having exceptionally long limbs for an ankylosaur. Minmi clocked in at about 300 kilograms, which is pretty impressive when considering the fact that it's the same size as my dog, but pretty underwhelming when compared to other ankylosaurs of similar size. Additionally, Minmi had a unique paravertebral armor arrangement, hence the name. I cannot find any information on how this would affect the animal, but it is interesting nonetheless. Minmi wasn't described as fast, and its offensive capabilities are definitely lackluster. Its armor might have been more effective at keeping predators his own size subdued, but against larger, more competent hunters it likely did not bode well. When fit into the larger frame of the aisle, Minmi is likely to not do any better without major adjustments. Major adjustments, however, is the aisle's forte. The aisle developers are not afraid of radical changes to designs in order to produce more viable animals, and Minmi is no different. I have heard a lot of people talking smack about Minmi's concept art, and on behalf of the animal, I say fuck off. I love the design and niche presented, and for the rest of the video, I will be discussing that. Minmi gets three core abilities. It is shown getting the ability to burrow, which seems to be the aisle's band-aid for fixing unviable animals. This is not to say it does not work for this purpose. Burrowing is the closest thing any dinosaur can get to on-the-spot map editing. Being capable of creating a whole new section of the map that is all your own will never stop being a powerful ability for any creature to possess. Although it's a shame that it has sort of just become a copy-paste ability gifted to below average animals in order to make them relevant. I do believe it is a good choice for Minmi, and I think it synergizes well with the other abilities of the dinosaur. Now, if you know me, you know I am an absolute sucker for semi-aquatic dinosaurs, and this next ability is my favorite. I like it so much that it is even getting its own section of the video so that I can defend it. Minmi can walk at the bottom of water sources like a hippo. This is awesome. From a balancing perspective, it is a great choice. Minmi, even after undergoing modification, is likely going to have a lack of mobility. Lacking mobility gives it fewer options when encountering other animals, which hurts Minmi's balance. But when people hear the word mobility, they tend to think of it in very constricted terms. How fast a dinosaur runs, how high it jumps, how quickly it turns, and how fast it accelerates. But mobility, especially in regards to combat, means so much more than just that. Pteranodon is a very good example of this. Pteranodon is the most mobile creature in the game for one simple reason, which is that it has a mobility option no other creature has. It can fly. Being able to fly lets Pteranodon players utilize their game sense to pick and choose their fights. Being able to pick and choose your fights is hands down the strongest ability in any PvP game. While Minmi's sync ability is not quite as overwhelmingly powerful, it can achieve a similar effect for smart players, granting Minmi a great tool for both navigating the map and defending itself. Minmi's third and final ability is the ability to bury itself in the ground, leaving nothing but its armored back exposed. This might at first seem like an underwhelming ability. How is this any more practical in a combat situation than burrowing or diving underwater? Simple. The ability to conceal yourself is very powerful and honestly underrated. If Minmi ends up in an unfavorable situation, away from its burrow or a deep enough water source, it always has the option to simply bury itself in the ground. This is not even taking into account that there could be beneficial status effects too. Maybe being buried helps you regenerate health or heal bleed and venom. Perhaps you take reduced damage, and we even see something that might suggest Minmi gains a speed boost after unburying itself. And again, the ability to hide 90% of your profile in the ground will always be pretty strong as an escape option, assuming you play your cards right. I see Minmi as sort of the ultimate generalist. 
being capable of foraging wherever it wants and having several big brain escape options when necessary. I believe its matchups against similar sized animals will be favorable, and its options for escaping, plentiful. In conclusion, I think Minmi is balanced, but I don't know everything. I was very happy to see lots of conversation in the comments about the topic of my last aisle discussion. So if you have anything you want to share, go ahead and do so in the comments. Thanks for watching.